Tech Road here again. And continue the MMU 2S build. And um, this video is about the um, extruder upgrade for the MK3S printer. So let's have a look at the manual first. So here we have the manual. So they will go through this and then I will do the process on the printer. So step one, extruder body parts preparation. So you need to find this orange part, which you should have in the package. And then we're going to um, uh, put it in place. And then we're going to put it together the IR sensor. And these are these three plastic parts and three screws. 18 millimeter one, a 10 millimeter one, and then a standard nut. And then we're going to get the um, IR sensor. And this was a bit of um, a bit confusing for me, at least. There seems to be two different types. And the red one is the. If you have a red one either sent to you in the package or already in the printer, you should use that one. I, I only have the black one on the printer, and I only got the black one in the kit. So I'm assuming I'm just going to use the <laughs> black one. And um, here you can do the assemble by passing the wire through and then connecting it to the IR sensor. Now we're going to be putting the IR sensor assembly into the assembled body. And then we're going to do a bit of cable routing. Put a nut in place. and add it to the assembly to build it out with the cover so here it's the cover and then we're going to mount it in place and then we're going to do the rever reverse order of what we have been doing in the disassembly um, let's to uh, put the um, idler in place tighten up the screws that we've untightened put the fan back And then, no, sorry, no, actually, we'll step 11 separate step for the putting the idler to the others. Ah, bearings I didn't drop out of so my kit, so now we put the nut in place, the idler in place, make sure it moves, and then we put the screw holding the idler into place and the tensioning screw also and then we tighten up the back panel and we will be putting the um, textile sleeve back into its place with the zip ties on the um, hot end side and then it's Haribo time so okay I have to get started on the printer Okay, I just thought I'd show the parts. So we have the orange bit, the um, parts we need for the top, and then we have the idler, the filament sensor with its small screw, and then we have two screws I mentioned before. Eighteen ten and then a knot, and th this was a bit confusing because <laughs> they, they don't really say exactly what bags you should take. So, um, so let's see how I can show this now. So I use this MMU two uh, S extruder. That definitely you find lots of parts. The only one left is some kind of an end block, end stop block, which should not be used in this phase. And then the screws I ended up, I decided to take them from the E-axis bag. And then the filament sensor from the extruder bag. And it turned out to be that it's the same. So 
and I'm not going to use it. I'm going to just use the one that was already on the printer, in my case. And then there is a bag which is called extruder spare, so one can also borrow screws and nuts from there if one wants to. So, uh, so, so I said it was a bit vague in the instructions exactly what what bags to retrieve stuff from. Okay, so let's um, get started on the first thing then. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put on is this orange bit. And that has a, has a little notch on it, so you need to push it into the motor side first. A little bit slanting. So let's see how this will work. Oh, I wonder how they be. Oh, not exactly the nicest experience. <laughs> but I didn't think I broke it. It could be based on what, how much one has actually slack and um, this connection here, how easy it'll go. Yeah, so, that's fixed. Okay, now we need to start putting the IRR sensor parts together. So we have the two screws, nut, and then the plastic parts needed. And this will be step three. Now step four is just the IR sensor to use. Take this one, and it needs to be. Oh, <laughs> we actually need to put the cable through. So, actually, I have a totally wrong camera view. Anyway, these are the parts needed, so we need to actually put this on the printer. <laughs> okay, story organize. Okay, so that needs to go through that hole. up and the sensor goes down so like that so it should be okay and that was step five and now step six so then we need to position it like that Maneuver the sensor down into its hole. Oh, it ain't gonna stay. So, um, just I want to switch the manual page and it jumps out for us. The cover and place it on the top. Secure it with a screw. That will be that. And that screw. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. Because they, they, yeah, this is non symmetrical. So we have to 
understand which is which. Oh, it's not that easy to see in the picture, that's right. Okay. Let's see how it'll fit. Oh, that's sharp. Okay, and then which in theory go? No, no, wrong. What am I doing? So it needs to be, of course, the right small screw, not the big screw. No, I'm going to have to take a pause and come back and tell you which way around that really belongs because this is not actually easy to know. <laughs> okay, if you blow up the picture in the manual then it actually does show it, so it should go that way. But how to get it to go into place? when everything's wobbling around. Oh. Let's hope it's in place now. It's in there now. Where it's supposed to. Okay, <clears throat> next. So this was step six. And then step seven. If one could understand. I don't think I, I don't think that there's anywhere near enough cable.
Ah, okay. But I still think I need to pull up more cable. Just a bit more. Because it's supposed to go into this. I wonder if I could get it on the mini cam a bit. Let's see. failing quite it's maybe because it's too hot in here should end up going in that small slot. This one, now oh, we need to put, oh, sorry. But is that even going to be good enough now? Oh, that's in the slot, nice thing. I'll show it on the back, <laughs> it better be. Show it on the main camera. So, now you can see it where it goes. Through here on the piece like that. So I actually got it to go in. So okay, we say that's good. Yeah, and then back to this bit. Which we will actually put not in there. I might have to use the pulling method to get it in. No, oh, that had just snapped in there. So, <laughs> didn't need to do that. So, okay, and then, M310. Okay, and now I need to understand, uh, do they want that to go together? Now, so, <sighs> so like, no, I still would need to pull some more cable out because I don't understand how they want to root that cable still. Okay, so like that together. And we need to put those. Ha! Okay, now it's sort of coming together. And then there's going to be one screw which should go in there and not pop out the nut. Thank you. 
Come on, let's get something together. Because this is... That really needed to be screwed along. Is it even going in? Oh, it wasn't even in place. Okay, now. I think. Hope. What? It's not taking on the nut. Okay, I have to diagnose that. <laughs> Try to look at the picture and get the, like the. No, it, this if one screws the hole into the right side of the part, it might actually work. So that actually belongs on that side. That's tricky looking at pictures and then trying to like match up there now okay come on grab still not taking I mean what is this with life the universe and everything M310 oh don't tell me I picked out the wrong screw Okay, so we're back to the instructions because my problem is that I don't think this hole here is as deep as the, what the picture shows. And um, really, the, when I measure 10 millimeters, it, it comes to the edge, right to the edge of the knot that's underneath. So it will, it will probably never take. So I'm going to change that from there M10 to an M12 if I can. Uh, yeah, to a 12 millimeter long um, screw if I can find one because it's never going to work if I don't make that I mean that, didn't, that seems to have been printed okay that that area but it's it's not as deep as what they have uh, it seems to have very tight tolerances there so I'm just going to try an, a, a 12 millimeter one and then see how much it and hopefully it doesn't extrude on the other side beyond the bottom of the nut too much Okay, so, 12 meter, millimeter screw with just a little tiny bit off with the file, but it really wouldn't have been necessary, I just thought of, so, we can trick, at least in my case, I couldn't get the 10 millimeter one in, so we'll call that done, okay, and then we need to put it into its place. to understand the orientation it has. So it should sit like that with M18. Ah, okay, it's, it's, um, there is no, not there, oh, okay, okay. ah, this whole assembly is like moving all over the place, okay, and then, um, carefully pull the cable down until the loop disappears completely, however, don't stretch the cable. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay. Oh, that was easy. So I think I have it. Uh, if we should take a bit of a tour with the, with the mini cam on the side. Let's see if I... 
Oops, that's not what happened. I think my USB cable is getting bust. The one that delivers power. Let's try. Get a good picture of that. Mobile it too much. There or something like that. Okay. Mini cam. So here we see cable goes down disappears inside comes out the side goes down there and then it's coming out here and it should be all kind of tight so I would say we need to call that done even if it was a bit of a struggle okay let's see so in the instruction they said we should insert this and I think this is a 40 millimeter but the thing is I never took it out so and then we should just tighten them make sure don't over tighten just enough so it's the first screw on the hot end no. Okay, we need to re-tighten the screws that we loosened before. One in here. Carefully, carefully. And oh, maybe we do the other one also. Alternating a bit. This one. Yeah. Seems to be okay. And then we need to go in and fiddle with this and get that screw in there tightened and then the other one on the other side, so don't forget that. So I will do that now. Okay, now we need to put the fan back into its corner and it'll go like the cable needs to be twisted like that so that it's on the cable and then the, we need to make sure it goes round like it originally did and exits out there and then important to remember there are three screws that are shorter and then there's one long one and the long one which one was that It's the one in here, which is the longest one, and it also supports the um, the housing of the part fan blower. Or the, yeah, yeah, what do you call that? The deflector piece. And then, of course, you need to make sure you get the fan the right way around. So, that would be this way around, it's the right way around. Okay, I'll get to it. I was quite, <laughs> when I did the printer, that was a bore. So, I'm just going to fix it now. So, so now the fan's in place. And if there's a little bit more ambient noise, I had to put the air conditioning on. I'm having a bit of a heat problem in this area. But anyway, so fan back in. Huh? And um, the chimney, they call that in the instructions, that's now assembled. So let's have a look. That was step 10. And then step 11 extrude idler parts. And, um,
Okay, back to the instructions for a while, step 11. Um, so this actually has instructions how to um, put the whole bearings and everything together and assemble the screw, but since I actually didn't disassemble any of this uh, it's kind of redundant and this instruction also to put the bearings in idler and um, yeah, this we need to do we need to put the nut in here and then we need to put the shaft through the idler so we can start actually with that Oh, so we're going to start with the parts. So I have the nut, the idler with the axle in it, and then the long screw. So first we put the nut in there. Let's see how easily. I'll just use the pull it with a long screw trick. Oh, I think I need to <laughs> I think I need to pull it in a bit, so I'll just get that fixed. So Oh, now I've got the nut in there, pulled down into its hole. Okay, so then we need to put this in. So in, in my case, I will just take the axle out there. Whoops, and then it's going to pull the bearings. So I have to be very careful. And we have to note in the step 13 instructions which way around this should be. Orientate the same way the picture is. So, so I push that through and the last time I did this on the other one it was relatively tight. Use something to help me push it. Oh, it's not feeling too good. Oh. I'm going to take my time with that. So be back when I got the pin pushed through because I want to really take it easy. Okay, maybe not the most fun thing to do, but make sure it turns. That should be like relatively easy. To, uh, it doesn't really matter if the pin is not super centered. That would be okay. Okay, now we need to assemble it. Step 14, put it on the printer. So, um, we need a um, 40mm screw. And that should just slot into that hole. Put the oops. Should just slide in there like, like that. And then we should screw it up. But not super super tight because we should be able to move. And on the other side we have the tensioner. Up. I'm not screw, screw in a bit, so the, the screw just comes a little bit of screwing from there. And then I think that we've done that part. Let's see, let's double check. Uh, step 14, yep, that's it. Okay, so that's done. And the next step is to very carefully put the back plate back in again. Oh, this is not fun to put in the beginning. But. OK. 
Okay, those look okay. Let's see if we can get the center screw to go in there. Screws holding. No, three more. Okay. Put those back. assembling the printer for the first time that I did not want to take. And then there was one right at the bottom. So oh, that looks like we have it assembled that far, so now next step 10, which means we need to five tip ties. One, two, three, four, five, and we need clippers. E we need to persuade the cables to, oh wait, we need to pull and access. Quite a good picture on the mini cam. Maybe one should take it down a level. Let's see if that would be better. Okay. Okay, was it the top one or the bottom one has to go first? Mm, 
bottom roll three is for the top. <laughs> it's always it's like what? So the bottom roll is for the top. Yeah. Ah, that's a bit confusing. This is like double check if you wrapped around the model. Now you've got to be kidding me, I've got the wrong... Yes. No, wait, just looking at it from... Just looking at the picture. Ah. Screw up. Okay. Let's be perfectionist. The right way. So, I'm supposed to go in. Uh, that goes on. Supposed to go in through this side. They seem to be very like into this. Though. It has to. It, it has to go in a certain way. I don't really understand the logic. Not all follows the instructions. Because it seemed to be important for them that it goes in exactly this. The oh, mini cam. So that it goes like that. Bottom ones. I'm not supposed to go. No, I'm the same. Oh, that's not easy to see in that pitch. Oh, which way around they want the zip ties to go. Blow up the pitch. <laughs>
want to double check that the hold end cables go through the channel. Oh. Flapping around anyway. through it. Personal addition, which is a zip tie loosely around here, just as an extra precaution. Not in the instructions. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what's next. Not so far, I'm taking it apart. Okay. Oh, it's Hari Bhutan. That's what it says. Look. There. But anyway, um, I have given my Haribu to my children, so I don't get any. But anyway, this is what it should look like. I mean, you have the manual or access to the online page. So, you know, I'm going to now um, just visually inspect in peace and quiet to um, see that it actually, um, that there's not no, like, gaps left and, uh, something that might actually be a problem. So, that was that. So, not that bad for um, the amount of work that was required. Um, is there something? Just checking my list if there was something no, I think that's it. This will be the video for now. Um, consider subscribing if you found it useful. Um, hit the bell because there's going to be more parts to this series. Uh, inform other people who are trying to get through this process. I think the one can actually call a build, it's an upgrade. And uh, enjoy building and enjoy your Haribos if you have any left. So, see you in the next one.